Hey everyone, Edward here at Windows Report and in this video I will show you how to fix the Windows Update Error Code 0x872EFF in Windows 11 in no time. So the first solution that you should always take in consideration is to clean the Windows Update temporary folder. But first of all what you have to do is stop the Windows Update service. Now to do this press the Windows button then simply type services and select it as an application from the search results. In here just scroll way down until you find the Windows Update service and afterwards double click on it to open its properties window. The first thing you have to do in here is simply click on the stop button. Now press on OK, close this window or better minimize it because we need to access it once again and afterwards click on the start button then type in run and select run as an application from the search results. In here simply copy paste the following command that I posted in the description below. Basically this is a path that will take you to the data store. And in here what we have to do is delete the contents of the data store folder. So make sure to select everything then simply press on shift and delete and click on yes to delete everything. Now you can close this window, go back to the Windows Update service, double click on it to open its properties window and once again click on the start button to start the service. Alternatively you can also set the startup type to automatic so now you can click on apply and ok to save the changes, restart your computer and check if the problem still persists. Next another great solution is to repair the system files. To do this press the windows button then type in cmd and then run command prompt as an administrator. In here in the command prompt window make sure to type in the following command and then press enter after this command. Now note that it can take a bit of time so don't lose patience. Wait a bit until the scan is finished and Windows will try to fix any issues on your PC and then you can restart your computer and check if the problem still persists. Next in line another great solution is to reset the Windows Store cache. To do this press the Windows button then type in run and now select run as an application from the search results. Now in here simply type the following command and then press on enter. This will start the reset procedure for the store app and once it's finished you can restart your computer and check if the problem still persists. Moving on another great solution is to simply delete the local cache of the store app. Now to do this press the windows button then type in run and select run as an application from the search results and in here copy paste the following path that I posted in the description below. Now press on OK and in here just locate the cache folder, double click on it to make sure to just delete everything inside of it. Now you can just restart your computer, check if the problem still persists and if it does we can move on to the next solution. And another fix is to re-register the Windows Store cache. Now to do this right click the Windows button and select terminal as an administrator. And in here simply type in the following command and then press on enter. From here on this will re-register the Windows Store cache and afterwards you can make sure to restart your computer and check if the problem still persists. However, as an alternative we highly recommend you to try out Restoro which is an app that specializes in scanning and repairing any issues with your Windows operating system faster than you think. At the same time Restoro also repairs damage caused by malware which is a great plus in functionality. So make sure to check out the link in the description below. And that was it, super simple isn't it? Of course if this video helped you make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more quality content. Thank you.